So the bastard's dead? I cut him up myself. Hello? How can I help you? Excuse me. You can't go that way. Hello, security? How you doing? She's dead. You really gotta ask. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to ask you to return to the waiting room. Funeral? We're waiting for you. Cut it. How long till you're back? Doc said I should be up and murdering in a couple of days. Well, you know, he didn't say murdering, but you get the idea. Time to leave? Fuck yeah. Don't cut these bitches any slack! No mercy! That is not my time. working! You need me to change your bedpan? Shut up. This isn't going well, is it? Make this quick, okay? Ah, don't be shy. Come back and play. You know, you could have brought flowers instead of a gang of people trying to kill me. It's the thought that counts. Kill them all! Hiding in a about doing this every week. You really need to get out more. So since you've been out, I decided to put Pierce in charge. That's not funny. When did you learn to shoot straight? It's something I picked up when I was in a coma. We got this city locked down! That's not making things any easier. There's a chopper on the roof. It's our best chance out of here. I can't believe they thought they stopped me. Start running.
It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Rakuji. Shall we get down to business? You should care because I represent a multi billion dollar corporation that employs your son. Now, can we sit down? With the recent change in management, I figured it would be a good idea to touch base. We at Old Tor understand that when working with the Ronin, there's bound to be some collateral damage. However, turning a hospital into a charnel house is something that even I can't spin. You need to keep your men under control. My English must not be as good as I thought it was. It sounded like you were giving me an order. You're quite astute, Mr. Akuji. I'm not a twenty-something who is impressed by a power tie, Mr. Vogel. I suggest you stop trying to bully me. Mr. Rakuji, your son and I negotiated a very reasonable contract. My son's an idiot, Mr. Vogel. If you wish for the Ronin's protection, you had best be prepared to offer us something much more substantial. That's not going to happen. Then our business is concluded. Mr. Okuji, I can't possibly stress how unwise this could- Be silent. You can show yourself out now. Well, I guess that's that. Best of luck, gentlemen. <laughs>